if you're a Godot developer and you're not taking advantage of this super basic trick, I'm gonna show you why and how you can use this super powerful feature in Godot. So you're making a game in Godot and you wanna track the number of enemies that have been destroyed since the game started. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, oh, I'll just make a singleton. So we have our global script here. Maybe you just add a quick variable number of enemies killed. And this would obviously be an int, but we would set it to zero when the game started. And then we would increase it by one every time an enemy is destroyed. Now this technically works fine, but the more variables that you add globally this way, the quicker your game gets messier, less organized and disconnected overall. So here's an alternative way to do this. Let's delete this entire line here go over into our slime script and the first thing I'm going to want to do is just make sure that this object is actually contained within a class so I'm going to go to the top right under the extend node 2d just define class underscore name and we're going to set the name to slime now once we've defined the class name we can now create something which is called a static variable so I'm going to go down where my variables are and we're going to just type the keyword static and then we're going to follow this with var and now the name of our variable, which is gonna be total slimes destroyed. And we're just gonna set this to a type of int and we'll set it equal to zero when the game starts, just like we would have done in the global script. Now a static variable is essentially a property whose value is shared between all instances of the class, in this case, the slime class. But what that means is we can change the value from anywhere and that change will be reflected in any slime that we have currently instanced. And the benefit of doing this is that we can also access the value without having to actually create a new instance of a slime, we can just type slime, like just accessing the class, and that's a lot more organized in my opinion and straightforward. But to implement the desired functionality, we'll just do this as you'd expect. So we'll take this total slimes destroyed, go down into my kill function, and right inside of here, we'll just type total slimes destroyed plus equals one. And then to test this out, I've also created an input event. So we're gonna go into the player script, and inside of our physics process here, I'm just gonna do a quick if input dot is action just pressed action will be the one that I just defined and then if it is pressed we're gonna print total slimes killed and the value is gonna be slime just accessing the slime class here dot total slimes destroyed and like I said before we don't even have to create an instance of the slime class we can just access everything directly so by testing the project out now we can print with space you can see that our total slimes killed is zero and once all of the slimes have been destroyed, we'll press space to print again, and our total slimes killed is four. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. I just thought I'd share a quick Godot tip for this video, but if you did learn anything new, make sure to let me know in the comments. And I'd also love to hear how you guys are actually utilizing static variables. If you did like the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing as it does help the channel out a ton. And also check down below for links to helpful resources like the Discord and whatever. But thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.